So this is a London plane tree. Let me get it close to the leaves. It's showing some chlorosis, which is an iron deficiency. So we'll show you how we take care of that. And you can tell it's an iron deficiency if your leaves start looking like this one right here, where the background turns lighter and the veining is a dark green. And this isn't a severe problem yet, but once it becomes severe, the leaves will start to burn on the tips and it's a pretty easy fix. This is how you treat chlorosis. EDDHA iron. Now there's another one of these that uh, says 10% on it. It's iron chelate, chelate, and, uh, but it's not the EDDHA. And I one time bought that thinking I was getting the right thing, but I wasn't. So it's the 6%. Uh, so here's what you do. Oh, here's what it looks like, by the way. Don't breathe it in. It'll taste like blood. I don't think it hurts you, but... No, it just tastes bad. It's, yeah. yeah, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be nice. Okay, if I was your dad, I'd pour this whole thing on there, but that's unnecessary <laughs> yes. and we're, we're not going to do that. So we'll just sprinkle it like this. That's probably more than you need to. Oh yeah, this is probably more, but... Oh, my mercy. I don't mess around. Your dad doesn't mess around even harder than, than I don't mess around. <laughs> you used, what, about a quarter of that container? Oh, no. I probably used, like, a tenth of it. There's still a lot in here. Oh. It's probably, like, half full still. Oh. And it was, yeah, I didn't use a ton. Okay, and then we'll water it in. You can mix up water in, like, a five-gallon bucket ahead of time if you want, but I sort of kind of find that unnecessary. Yeah, if just, you're just going to water it in. Yeah, just pour it around the, the base. The goal is just then, to get it pushed down to the roots. Yeah. And it's a lot less work to do it this way than to mix it in a bucket. So the nice thing with all of our maples that are in the grass, I don't even have to water it in because the sprinklers will do it for me. Mm -hmm. But watch how red it gets. Look at that. We thought this tree was dead this spring. It leafed out and then we had that weird 27 degree cold snap and it killed all the leaves that were on it. And then it sat here for a very long time. So we're thankful. You know, if you're about to get rain, that's a good time to go out and spread this stuff. As long as you don't get, if you live in an area where you get a ton of rain, mm -hmm. like a lot of rain all at one time, I'd be a little afraid of it washing away. But if you're, if you're gonna get like a reasonable rain, then you don't even need to water it in. I was just noticing we're starting to get that really neat bark appearance, Aaron. Look at that. Oh, I like that. Isn't that cool? It's like camo. Yeah. There you go. Very nice. That's how you do it.